Come on, give him your praise. You've put praise on the mouths of the infants. Let everything. <laughs> wherever you are and just give him praise come on Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you so much for this day that you have woken us up, Almighty Father. You have given us uh, the gift of life, the gift of salvation, the gift of family, O oh God. Everything that you have bestowed on us, these are just blessings from you to us, O oh God. And we just want to pause and say thank you for your goodness and for your faithfulness of our lives. Thank you for your mercies that are new today, your grace that is sufficient over each one of us, for your love and your compassion, O oh God, that no one compares to my Father. We thank you because you have loved us and you have continued to fight for us. You have continued to see us through our seasons of life up until now, my God. Even as we take this time to, to just delve into your word, I pray that, Lord, may we be refreshed in your presence, may we be encouraged, and may you uplift our hearts today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Good morning and thank you so much for tuning in to today's time of prayer and devotion. It's another day, another week where we continue to grow in God's word. Take the disciples as they were serving God and healing miracles to accompany the preaching of the word. Even for you, as you go on your knees to pray for your family, to pray for your community. And as people come to know Jesus Christ, even as you share the word of God, the enemy may threaten you using people or may bring discouragement, but we need to have boldness so that we can continue to share the word of God. So I encourage you, just like Peter and John and the disciples, when they were threatened not to use the name of Jesus Christ, they prayed to God. And the Bible says in verse 31, and when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. So for you who want God use you mightily and then you face persecution and you have stopped, God is calling you to arise. Arise and continue. We are here standing as brothers and sisters praying that Lord God, uh, through his unlimited resources, that he's gonna empower us in our inner beings, in our souls and in our spirits uh, through his spirit. And when he has done that, yes, uh, indeed, he will. Christ will make his uh, home in our hearts. The other thing we're going to be praying today is that God will continue to uh, to help us to have to experience Christ's love to fullness. Of course, we can't have a, a full understanding of it while it's on this other side of eternity. But on the other side, of course, we shall be that God will continue to help us to experience his love. We experience his love. We experience his love and we experience his love. And I actually not take it for granted. Um, not take it for granted. So um, the other thing we're going to be praying is that to ask God that 
um, <clears throat> we shall continue to have our minds and our hearts fully focused on him, fully focused on him, for us to continue to understand uh, how wide and how high and how long his, his love is. We truly need to have our hearts attuned to him. And so it's about feel confused where you feel like I have no one to look up to. I feel exposed. There's nobody to cover me and things are not working your way. We are here today to pray that God will show us direction. Even as this, this army officers came to Jeremiah and told him that pray to your God to show, to show us and to tell us where we should go from here. Today we are going to pray and ask God to tell us and to guide us for his guidance and direction of our lives. And even as Jesus taught his disciples to pray and he says that um, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We're going to ask God that his will will be done in our families. His will will be done at our individual level. His will will be done even in our nation. This is the electioneering period. That God will guide us. He will show us. He will direct us. That we will walk in accordance to what he has in store for us. So let's go before God. Pray for yourself. Pray for your local church. Pray for this church. ICC Kitengela, if you are a member, just commit the church to God, even as you commit yourself to God. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, what a joy to know that indeed you have called us out of darkness into the marvelous light of your son, the son that you love, oh God. Thank you because you have called us out of a life of emptiness, my father. You have called us out of a life of sin, oh Jehovah, and a life of se uh, selfishness, oh God, to a life that focuses on you, to a life, oh my father, that looks to you, to a life, oh my God, that is lighted by your light, oh God, by your glory, our father. Lord, to a life that, that is meant to glorify you and to honor you. We thank you and we bless your name. Now, Lord, we just want to join Paul, my father, in this prayer to the church in the Salonica, dear father, praying that the church will be counted worthy of your calling, my father, because you are the one who calls us, oh God. You are the one who calls us to yourself, oh God, and you call us to live in a certain manner. And therefore, God, we want to trust you. We want to pray to you this morning, oh God, that indeed will be counted worthy of the calling as individuals, as your church, oh God, will be counted worthy of the calling that you have called us, my Father, that having called us out of darkness, we will not live like a people who are in darkness, we will not speak like a people who are in darkness, we will not operate like a people who have not seen the light, O oh God, but that Jehovah, we are going to rise up to our calling, we are going to behave like our calling, act like our calling, move like our calling, my Father, interact like our calling deserves, because it comes from you, my Father, and you are calling upon us, Lord, as an agenda, as a purpose, as a mission to it, dear Father. Oh, I pray that we will not miss out, oh God, on the purpose, my Father, of the calling, on the mandate of the calling in the name of Jesus, that indeed by the power of your Holy Spirit, oh God, as we continue trusting upon you, as we continue waiting on you, oh God, as we continue depending upon you, our Father, you will bring every good desire to fruition, my Father, every desire prompted by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, every motive prompted by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, Make it fruitful. Make it abound, O Jehovah. Let it be bountiful, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. This is our desire, O God, as individuals and as a church, my Father, that indeed the desires we have prompted by faith. O my Father, the things that we are trusting you for prompted by faith, O God, you will bring them to fruition in our day, O God, so that the church of Jesus Christ will be strong, so that the church of Jesus Christ will be amply supplied, O God, to be able to do the work of ministry, to be able to do the work of evangelism, the work of outreach, oh God, my Father, the work that you have set out for it to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, Lord, we just want to give you praise. We just want to give you glory. We just want to give you honor, O God. Pray that you will put, O Father, godly desires in us, my God, so that we'll desire what you desire, O God. We'll hunger for what you hunger for, my Father. We will long for what you long to see, O my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, that Lord, all of us as a body, my Father, will be brought to that place, O God, where our attention is to do the will of God, is to please your Father, is to walk in the Spirit, O Jehovah, is to glorify Jesus in everything we do, O God. Because, my Father, who are we without your Spirit? Who are we without the shed blood of Jesus, without the sacrifice of Jesus, having given his life for the church? Lord, I pray that indeed we reflect the light 
of God, the light of Jesus Christ in our day and in our time, O oh God. And I pray that, Lord, as we continue seeking you, as we continue trusting you, as we continue depending upon you, oh, that you'll multiply your grace upon us as your body, as your church, O oh God. Multiply your peace, O oh Father, that the church will experience peace, that the grace of God will be multiplied to do ministry, to reach out, O oh Father, to serve, O oh my Father, to, to, seek and, uh, to seek and minister to the lost and the needy and the oppressed, O oh God, just to be a blessing in the society in the mighty name of Jesus. We surrender to you, O God. We need your help. We need your guidance. We cannot do it without you. And that's why we continue to surrender to the leading of the Holy Spirit, to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, to the instruction of the Holy Spirit, because Lord, you know why you, we are here and you know what you want us to do. And therefore, we surrender ourselves to you, asking that your power will continue flowing upon us O oh God, and helping us to do that which you have called us to do. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and we believe. Amen and amen. Just say this together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us. I pray that you'll continue to seek God for direction, for guidance, for wisdom, and above all, that we'll continue praying that his will will be done in our lives, in our families, in even in our nation and even in the church of God, that his will will be done. Thank you so much for joining us. May you have a blessed day ahead. Give me praise. Give praise. I'm thankful Glory. for your mercy and your grace.